I accidentally left this variegated bro marks in the sun and this leaf totally got cooked yesterday. I'm so sad about it. Luckily, it still has lots of other ones. Oh, this one looks burned. The lens is fogging up because it's so humid. And also I just came from inside where it's super cold. So, so this brandy has been kind of a struggle plant for me. Um, it wasn't growing for a long time and the leaves were coming out messed up. So then I put it outside and the leaves are looking better. But there's this big space where like it didn't get enough light. I don't like that, but oh look, like they're actually bigger than this one. But of course it's so hot and humid out here, I won't be able to replicate this in the winter. I just added another coir pole to this um, Rifidophora tetrasperma, and I'm going to Velcro that with plant Velcro. Alrighty, I just realized my toxic trait is owning so many tripods and gimbals and not wanting to get them out and use them. Also look at my philodendron fuzzy petiole. It's always growing new leaves and they keep getting bigger and they're so beautiful. Like I love this pillowiness. I am so friggin' sweaty just from watering plants. I'm going to repot this calathea um, and I'm going to put it in this self-watering planter. I seem to do better with those for calathea. Okay, so nobody asked, but <laughs> I'll just answer some getting to know you questions from Google so that you can get to know me. Um, so the first one is, what's your favorite way to spend a day off? Which I don't know if this is obvious, but I like to go plant shopping. Okay, the next one is, what kind of music are you into? Which I, pretty much listen to pop music, top 40. Um, I do like alternative from the 90s, because um, that's when I was a kid. So it takes me back to that time, like middle school years. Um, I also went through a phase in the early 2000s where I was like super into country music because I lived in San Antonio and then in Waco. Look at the newest leaf on this Syngonium album. I think this is the one that Anthony gave me and it was starting to go all green and then I separated the variegated part from the part that was going green and now it's variegated again. And surprisingly, it's not turning brown on the white parts, which some variegated plants do that. Okay, now I'm going to fill up the reservoir. It has a leak in there. Okay. Okay. And it is thirsty. It does need water. And this water is, oh no, the reservoir was dirty or some dirt fell in there. That's not going to be attractive. Okay, and then this is RO water. We do have an inexpensive RO water filter from Amazon. Okay, so another getting to know you question was, what is the best vacation that you've ever taken? And definitely I would have to say, well, Okay, <laughs> I was going to say Disney World, but actually studying abroad was the best, even though that's not a vacation. I mean, really, it is a vacation. I did take classes, um, but it was such a good experience. I studied abroad in France for one semester, um, and I really wish that I had done a whole year um, and while I was there, I got to travel to some other countries also, and, um, it was just so much fun, and I'll just, like, never be, you know, that young and carefree again. Of course, I can always travel again, but, um, 
I'll be smarter and therefore just it'll be different. I won't be dumb and 20 years old, <laughs> which is probably a good thing. Um, although I can't imagine doing all that traveling alone like I did before. Just now I don't even want to drive like to Houston alone. And before I was going all over the world alone, but maybe because I don't have to now. So I don't know, maybe I could do it again, but I'd rather not. I think it's more fun with someone else, theoretically. So here I have some plant cuttings because I've been giving away um, cuttings and small plants to my neighbors. And then I have like these solo cups because I'm gonna make some more cuttings. And they've actually been coming and picking them up. They're just common plants. Um, and you know, we forget sometimes in this hobby, I think, <laughs> that most people just have common plants and there's nothing wrong with that. They're common for a reason. They're awesome because they grow really fast and they're easy to take care of and they're easy to propagate and so they're easy to share. Um, But like in a normal houseplant local group, people are such collectors. I feel like no one would come all the way to my house just like for a spider plant baby. So here's a Mandula pothos cutting that's rooted. Wait, is it? Yeah, it's rooted. Um, a baby bunny bellies, Tradescantia rehab, and a baby spider plant. Daisy gave me this little baby <sighs> Soderoy. I'm gonna pot it up. It was in Leca. She does everything um, in semi hydro. And I just left the Leca balls that were still attached to it. It's fine. And I'm just sitting on the ground in my pajamas. So I'm gonna have to change before I get in bed anyway. <laughs> Yeah, in case you didn't know, if I don't leave the house, I wear PJs all day. And if I come home, and even if I'm only gonna be home for like 20 minutes, I'll probably change back into PJs again. Ta-da! Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, you know what? I probably need a little support on here, huh? Yeah. I'll put just like a chopstick. <laughs> Whoa, there's a snake out here. I have no idea what kind. I haven't been studying up on my Texas snake identification. I don't think anyone in the house even hears me. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I'm gonna repot this Rufidophora tetrasperma that's in these two planters and put them in this one bigger one. I did mix up some airy, chunky potting mix. It's not mixed all the way still. <laughs> um, it's a little too full, but I'll figure all this over. Okay, I'm doing this outside because I'm so messy and yeah, even though it is like 108 degrees, <laughs> um, I only come out here for a few minutes at a time, so. Okay. Okay, ta-da. That looks pretty good actually. And then all of these growth weights that activated hopefully have room. Well, we'll see. We'll figure it out as we go. Does anybody have tips for Piper Permata? Mine keeps getting worse and worse, but it has potential. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll put it in the garden bed, which can either be a plant cemetery or a resurrection bed. Oh, also let me show y'all what's in there.
Okay, so down here is, look at this, a Calathea orbifolia, which I had this last fall and it just kept getting worse and worse. And I don't know, I just got tired of it and I threw it out and it obviously like should have died over the winter. And now it's made a comeback, which is so neat. Um, I want to clear out these Tradescantia and give away the cuttings so I have space to do some other things in here. But I'm really excited for that to grow because it's such a beautiful plant. But um, it would be nice to try it again and this will be free. <laughs> I mean, it's the plant that I bought before.